Hey YouTube, how you doing? So here I go again with my charts. This is a chart I made after I was a little disenchanted with my minivan after my trip to New Hampshire. Uh, so, and I was considering possibly getting something different, at least down the road. But for now, I have decided to just keep the minivan because I have it, and who knows what the future holds. When I was thinking about looking at other vehicles, I made this chart. Across the top of the chart, I put Volkswagen, cargo van, conversion van, conversion camper van. I don't know what I was thinking with that. I guess a conversion van that needed to be totally converted into a camper. My minivan, a small RV or Class B, and that's just an extra column. And then down this column I have purchase price, conversion effort, conversion price, amenities, gas mileage, comfort, maintenance expense, stealthness, drivability, parking, guests, and campground restricted. So now your answers in these blocks will, might be different than mine. I'm by no means an expert. This is just with the knowledge that I had at that time, what I thought. So for instance, a, Vol a Volkswagen camper, it's cheap, but it's hard to find. Cargo is reasonable. Conversion van, reasonable price. Minivan, free. Small RV Class B, more expensive. And then under conversion effort, under each column I have none, just to update or repair. That's if I got like a West Fire or something like that, but I think that's out of the question now because everyone's saying they break down a lot and I don't repair cars, so that would be a bad idea for me by myself in the middle of nowhere with a car that breaks down a lot. So conversion effort for a cargo van is pretty extensive. Conversion van, somewhat exp expensive. Camper van, almost none. So I think that that's a conversion van that pretty much has everything in it already that folds into a bed and maybe has a little kitchen area. I don't know what I was thinking when I wrote that, but. So then a small RV or class B, I put none for conversion effort. Uh, obviously it might need repairs though. And then the price. I'm not, even, I'm not really even going to go through all of these because these are what's unique to my opinion. I will show them to you. I don't know if that's focusing. Amenities, I'll read that one. The Volkswagen, everything but toilet and shower. Conversion van, a cargo van you can custom build. Same with the conversion. And the conversion camper, depends on what it comes with. My minivan, minivan has spare minimum amenities, and RV has everything. But I'm, I'm working on that, making more amenities in my minivan. You know, I really think that kitchen would work well. I'm, gonna, I'm starting to give that a lot of thought and doing some measuring and everything. And I gotta check out some sinks at Home Depot. Then I have gas mileage. Comfort, maintenance expense, stealthness, that was one thing. That's one thing that's important to me. I don't want to have to go to campgrounds or I don't want people to know that I'm in there. You know, I don't want to become a target like that. And, you know, I'd be by myself. So I just feel like stealthness is, is important to me. It may not be important to you, but to me it is. So under my minivan, I put the stealthness was great. Drivability parking, and guess how many people it sleeps, and campground restricted. So, I've given up on the guest thing. I think if ever I was with somebody, then we would probably have to rethink this whole, obviously it wouldn't be in the minivan, we'd either have separate vehicles or we would build something together that did sleep too. I think if I had two people, I'd probably want to go to an RV. At least then you could share the cost if you had to do a campground type of thing. You know, I don't even, uh, 
back to the stealthness. I don't even like really want to sleep in a Walmart parking lot because it just is obvious that I'm sleeping there and I'd rather people not know. And I have heard of people being bothered at Walmart parking lots, you know, told to leave or whatever for some reason. So I'd rather just, there's so many different places to park. It's really not a problem. So I just wanted to share that chart with you. Hopefully this could help people make the, the decision when they uh, decide to purchase something, when they are considering living in their vehicle and being mobile. Hope this helps them to make a decision. Thanks for watching. Take care. Here's just a closer look at each item I have written in there in case you're wondering. I'll go down it more closely. Hopefully this gives you a chance to read it if you want to. If not, just skip it.